can you break free from your stress cage? What is the stress cage? We can trace a lot of our stress back to negative, unwanted faults. But by managing the, those, we can learn to keep our anxiety levels under control. Attempting C, change. A, avoid. G, get out, get rid of. Or E, eliminate unwanted faults. Largely does not work. But if we, but it does create a stress cage. The more, the more we push out of our minds unwanted faults that are causing us stress, faults are such as oh, I'm a loser, I'm, a, I'm, I'm ugly, I'm fat, I'm worthless, I am for failure, the more they come back and hit you in the face. And when you try not to check out, think one of these faults, you have to check you're not thinking about it, which means that you are, in fact, doing the very thing you're trying very hard not to do. How? Here is how to deal with the problem. Control your stress. You don't have to listen to everything your mind tells you about yourself. You don't have to cage what goes on in your head either. You can learn to manage your thoughts better not, better by not caging them thoughts, but instead changing the relationship with them. It's possible to have a negative thought without buying into it, into it, it and believing it. Mind never matter. The answer is to create space between the thinker, you, and your thoughts that are causing stress. Then you can choose what to do with those thoughts instead of being bullied by them. If you can learn to manage your thoughts effectively, you can transform your life to create that light, that space between you and your thoughts, which can be exploring, exploding like bombs all over the place. You need to diffuse them. This means taking the power out of them. Or entangling yourself with, with, from your faults. It is not about working out whether or not they are true. Does buying into self-critical faults motivate you to work harder? Possibly in the short term. But this is an unusually unsatisfiable. This is usually unsustainable over the longer term. Feel your feelings. Yes, even the stressful ones. Acceptance. Emotions are not tolerating them. While you grit your teeth. Not sucking it up, getting up, putting up with it, enjoying, grinning, or bearing it, resigning yourself to it, giving in, giving in, giving up, or so suppressing it. Accepting emotions is about making room for what feelings show up, even if they don't, if you even don't want them, like them, or approve of them. Acceptance is about being willing to feel your emotions, being open to them. Calling, culminating towards them, making room for them, being curious about them, and making space for whatever emotions are present. Learn from your emotions. Instead of thinking about your emotions as irksome things are to be controlled, consider them wise guys that have something to teach you about what matters to you deep down. After all, you do not feel sad, angry, afraid, or upset about things you do not give a damn about. Learn, label the feeling. What are you feeling? Say to yourself, I am noticing a feeling of anxiety, frustration, irritation. Complete it as appropriate. Learning to label what you feel is a powerful experience if you are not in the habit of doing it. Try to see that you can learn how you feel inside your body when certain emotion is present and how it differs from your other emotions. What does sadness feel like from you, for, for you? How is it different to boredom or frustration? Start to learn about the, your emotions, about what your emotions feel like. Explore how, what you feel. Ice yourself. Where in my body do I feel this? If I draw an outline it around it, what shape would it be? What color, sort of color is it? What texture is it? Does it have, does it have a temperature? Maybe it's wet, either hot or cold. Does it feel near the surface or deep inside? Is moving or still? Also, you try to notice any additional physical qualities your feelings might have. Breathe through it as you notice all the features of this emotion. See whether you can breathe around this feeling and make space for it, be for it to be there. You do not need to do anything else. Just see if you can sit with it. 
Make room for yourself. It's perfectly okay to feel whatever it is that you feel. No emotion is off limits, whatever your mind tries to tell you. Learning to make room for whatever feelings, sensations in your body might come your way allows you to then ditch unhelpful coping strategies in favour of behaviours that help you learn to manage your stress levels. Be kind, be the kind of person you want to be and live the kind of life you want to live. The following is from the book from Stress Silent by Dr. Sam Akabar. £7.99, out now.